So, in the previous video, we have learned about the derivation of the volumetric flow rate that is the actual volumetric flow rate of the Venturi meter. Now, in this one, we will learn about two other applications of Bernoulli's theorem. Number two is the orifice meter. So, this is how the orifice meter looks like. This is the U2 manometer fixed below it and this is the throat area. So, as the previous derivation we have already done, this is almost same as the previous derivation for the Venturi meter. Just the difference is that we were we are taking out the value for V1 in the previous derivation but now we will write the value for V2 in this derivation. For so the value of V2 comes like A1 by root over A1 square minus A2 square into root over 2G into P1 minus P2 by rho g plus z1 minus z2 whole root over we have found this value we have found this value as this one 2g into rho m by rho w minus 1 into delta h so this value becomes a1 by root over a1 square minus a2 square into 2g into rho m by rho w minus 1 into delta h. So as we all know that q is equal to a1 v1 that is equal to a2 v2. We have found the value of v2 and so after multiplying with a2 we will get q theoretical hence the value of q theoretical comes out to be a1 into a2 by root over a1 square minus a2 square into root over 2g rho m by rho w minus 1 into delta of h so this is the equation that we are getting for the orifice meter that looks like this the whole of the derivation is not included in the syllabus but this equation can be used for solving of the numericals so now let us see the third and the last application of Bernoulli's theorem that it's Pytorch's tube this apparatus is known as Pytorch static tube apparatus. This is mainly used to measure the velocity. So here the velocity of the fluid is assumed to be zero. The fluid velocity here becomes zero. This difference is taken to be as P1 by rho g and this difference is taken to be as V1 square by 2g. So the derivation is a very small one by applying Bernoulli's theorem, we get P1 by rho g plus V1 square by 2g plus Z1 is equal to P2 by rho g plus V2 square by 2g plus Z2. Since 1 and 2 both are in the same potential line, these two gets cancelled as they are both are same z1 is equal to z2 and at point 2 since the water is stagnant so v2 can be written as v stagnation hence we get the value as v1 square by 2g is equal to p2 minus p1 by rho g if we refer p2 to, to be the pressure of point 2 we can refer p2 as p stagnation minus p1 by rho g which implies that we get v1 to be 
रूट ओवर टू जी इन टू पी स्टैग्नेशन माइनस पी वन बाय रो जी होल रूट हेयर एज वेलोसिटी एट पॉइंट टू इज जीरो वी टेक वी टू टू बी जीरो हेंस वी टू ऑल्सो गेट्स कैंसल्ड आउट सो वी गिट दिस एज द इक्वेशन फॉर पैटर्स ट्यू दिस कैन ऑल्सो बी रिटर्न एज रूट ओवर टू जी इन टू एच स्टैग्नेशन माइनस एच स्टैट दैट इज एच स्टैटिक दिस इज नोन एज द स्टैग्नेशन हेड एंड दिस इज नोन एज द static head hence this is the equation that by which we can solve and we can get the velocity of v1 and hence we have come to an end for the application of bernoulli's theorem